War Christians being killed in Saudi Arabia. What do these countries all have in common? Are they united by their ethnicity? Are they united by their economy? Are they united by their government? Are they united by their culture? Are they united by Islam? And that's why they are being killed. Who thinks that we should be able to criticize the slave trade? Islam teaches the slave trade. Who thinks that we should be able to criticize polygamy? Islam teaches polygamy. Yet, ladies and gentlemen, the liberal state is wanting to make criticism of Islam illegal. The Labour Party is committed to it. It's going to be in its manifesto. They didn't come across as a fund of free speech. Well, so, done, my well, let me answer that question. It's a very fair question. Get a question Bob. Recall this whole so the question is, as Christians, do we believe in free speech? The answer to that question is no, we do not. If you want to test my hypothesis, ask to preach a sermon in a church that says there is no God and see what the church says. You're throwing yourself under the bus. Ask yourself if you can join a congregation and teach that we should live hedonistic lives and see what the elders of the church ask you to do. Jesus is anti The reality is that as Christians, we don't believe in freedom of speech as a principle. Jesus believed in freedom. However, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we recognize that we don't live in a Christian world. And we haven't lived in a Christian world You're definitely not a for Christian. nearly 250 years You're definitely in the not West since the Enlightenment. Are you going to talk to me? Bob? And in this secular liberal world, so that we could preach the gospel we have become defenders of freedom of speech for all people and we recognize a biblical principle which is that all citizens should be equal under the law that's a biblical principle ladies and gentlemen and so if we believe that we should have free speech, then we believe God, then. that those who criticize us should be free to do so publicly. Let's go to the like church, we evangelize and, uh, publicly. Talk about but, ladies and gentlemen, in the Western world, we are seeing increasing examples of the police clamp down on freedom of speech. We're seeing Christian evangelists arrested in the street you incite violence that because not by people are using the law as a weapon you you're using freedom of speech to as a weapon to stop evangelism you're using freedom of speech as and a the weapon. state is adopting by accident a principle ladies and gentlemen principle. of islamic blasphemy law even though it's not on the statute books as I have given earlier examples there too. And every time the state fails to defend free speech, all of you lose your right to speak freely. You're anti the Labour Party, ladies and gentlemen, is committed to introducing Islamophobia as an offence. But it's not introducing Christophobia as an offence, or Hinduphobia as an offence, or Sikhophobia as an offence, or Komiphobia as an offence, or Naziphobia as an offence. And does anyone doubt for a second that Britain is full of Naziphobes? I'm not a Nazi. I'm against the Nazis, but ladies and gentlemen, Are you homophobic? there's no law protecting all these other groups. Are you homophobic? And yet your political establishment 
is considering making it illegal to criticize Islam. Are you homophobic? Who thinks that we should be able to criticize the slave trade? Islam teaches the slave trade. Who thinks that we should be able to criticize polygamy? Islam teaches polygamy. Who thinks that we should be able to criticize abortion? Islam teaches abortion. Are you a Muslim now? Who thinks that we should be able to criticize killing people for choosing to follow Christ? Islam teaches that if you're a Muslim and you begin to follow Christ, you should be executed. But yet, ladies and gentlemen, yet, ladies and gentlemen, the liberal state is wanting to make criticism of Islam illegal. The Labour Party is committed to it. It's going to be in its manifesto. That's not liberalism. Don't go Labour. Our political pacifism has resulted in this. So whether you're a Christian or whether you're a liberal, you need to get off your ass and get political. Any other questions? I've got a question. No, I'm not. No, bro. If you're doing, if you're doing questions to him, no, bro. I'm taking any questions. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Don't give him attention. That's why he stood here. He's trying to look for attention. Are you homophobic? Bob? So, ladies and gentlemen, any questions? Yeah, go on, bro. Excuse me, I just came right now. What's this? What, what's what? Sorry, my speech? This is Speaker's Corner, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is Speaker's Corner. It's where people give speeches, where people like you get to ask questions, and people like him get to heck. I don't get to answer any questions. So, ladies, <laughs> any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Going once. Can I ask a question? Please. Going twice. I, yeah, go on, bro. Why Muslim people are killing Christians? Great question, ladies and gentlemen. Why are Christians yeah. being killed in Egypt? Why are Christians yeah. being killed in Pakistan? Why are Christians being killed in Nigeria? Yeah. Why are Christians being killed in Syria? Yeah. Why are Christians being killed in Iraq? Yeah. Why are Christians being killed in Iran? Why are Christians being killed in Indonesia? Why are Christians being killed in Saudi Arabia? What do these countries all have in common? Are they united by their ethnicity? Are they united by their economy? Are they united by their government? Are they united by their culture? Are they united by Islam? Yes. And that's why they are being killed, ladies and gentlemen. You hate Muslims. You're trying to And this is the response of liberals. When you try to speak up for persecuted Christians, the liberals don't condemn the killing of Christians. They call you Islamophobic for speaking up for the thousands of Christians being killed around the world. No one's persecuting you. That's what the liberals do. No one's persecuting And you. that's why yeah. all those virtue signaling hypocrites <laughs> like Gary Lineker, you should shove the persecuted church down their throats until they are sick of it. That doesn't sound very nice. You must stand up for your brothers and sisters because no one else will.